Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, <laughs> Stanley. All right, we're coming in with this week's power review. Let me go ahead and put it on out there right now. Yeah. Good freaking job, y'all. Yes, indeed. Yes, y'all indeed. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. <laughs> if y'all have already watched the episode, y'all y'all probably felt yes. when my spirit leaped when that crazy Tommy jumped on the scene. Yes, I said, indeed. You said, he's back. We And we knew he was going to be back this episode. We knew I it. Knew it. We I knew it. I knew it. When I saw it. the Mustang, yeah. I said, y'all hell yeah <laughs> but let me go ahead and do the youtube thing if you are new to the channel go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button it's free 99 for 2021 we might hold that deal all the way up until december 31st 2021 we don't know we may start charging we don't know if you keep coming back we appreciate y'all but while you're already here go ahead and rate the video thumbs up or thumbs down at this point it don't even matter because you already, already been, been counted. counted yeah let's get into power y'all hey first of all this is a good freaking episode man i think courtney 50 y'all came through on this episode man so we, we don't start like 50 anymore so just yeah. thank courtney just thank courtney yeah. but but anyway uh it don't even matter collateral <laughs> yeah so we started off the episode with of course monet is meeting with rico i want to first start off saying this was such an unrealistic scene even though it was a good episode but it was unrealistic because the way that dude patted funny. down monet was the worst pat down i was seen in my freaking life that you get ready to send her back there with your dude not fully patted down. You just patted down. You just felt inside of her boobs and patted her legs. And when you when you got up high, she was like, hey, you have, watch you yourself. Yeah. And then you didn't even pat her coat. And therefore, she got back there it, with a whole loaded gun. But I, I couldn't take Rico serious. I can't think of... Jack um, Long. Yeah. I can't take him serious, man, because he just... Every time I see him, I just want to laugh because he's so funny. Because he bo he's sick. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's ignorant. Just, yeah, I, so I couldn't take him serious. Even though he had the cornrows trying to be thuggish. Could you take him serious last I, week? I, I couldn't take him serious. I mean, he back there eating shrimps, you know. <laughs> the part that made me holler so hard was when he was like, how's your son doing? Yeah. She said he's gonna make it. No thanks to you. He said hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> said, really? This is what we doing right now? So we having a whole. If I shoot you, then I'm gonna ask how you doing. How you doing? Yeah. And then when you tell me you doing okay, no thanks I'm, to I'm me. I'm praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I said okay. I said Monet. I know you not gonna let this dude get away with this in your face. But, um, I was still trying to figure out was she was the plan originally to shoot him because she didn't draw on him until he kind of got fresh was like you know i need to get back to my bees here you know here what but i know you ain't fitting to give me none and then gave her to look up and down you know with disrespect and that's when she drew the gun and shot him so i i'm trying to figure out what oh, it was the plan you think it was the plan oh i think it was the plan all along yeah then i thought about old boy and i was like okay uh -huh. he gonna hit a gunshot and he gonna kill the other dude, but hey, he got Instead, him too. Instead, they had a double draw. Yeah, but I still think that was very unrealistic the way. Oh I'm yeah, like, you it said, was. Yeah, you but we said, gonna go with it. Yeah, we go. Yeah, it happened. So now we find out that Jabari and um, Carrie, Professor Milgram, has to interview all the what well, their plan is to the interview the whole freaking basketball team. And so now this freaking Everest turn to be interviewed. So, Ever gets in there and he pretty much tells the whole entire story, but you can tell through it, he looked, he knew he made some mistakes in the stuff that he was saying. Because Professor Miracle because, was giving, was giving him, him the look. The looks. Like, yeah. You, and so, he basically recanted everything he told her with, you know, because he was like, you know, it was this game that came and they put a gun to Zeke's knee and then it got pushed away and it was, it was Drew to hide the one to push away. And then when he started changing the story, it was like, well, maybe it won't Drew. Maybe that was a different day and da da da. I was drunk. I was drunk. And so P Professor Milgram was like, yeah, you was drunk. Him and the, by the way, how many drinks you had by then? He He's was like, like about, six, seven. about six. I'm like, if you that drunk, you don't know how many freaking drinks you had. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, we knew that she was throwing him off because Monet was like, if Zeke gets caught up in this pool murder, it's, it's going to be me and freaking you so now we got freaking zeke just freaking out and i don't blame him. i'll be freaking out too because 
He was like, if this fool, freaking pool murder gets back to me, and ain't nobody, nobody going to fit to have me on their team. And so Professor Miracle told him, you don't got nothing to worry about. I got you covered. And I'm like, how you fitting to do that, player? How you? How do you got him covered? Throw him off. She throwing everybody off. But, and, and this is another thing, too. I, and, uh, you know, I'm not professional at law. But I'm still trying to figure out why did the detective allow them to take control over interviewing the students in a murder at the school without no other officer being present to make sure this skit is going right just in case they were trying to be trying to cover up some stuff. Because it's unrealistic. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was getting. That is exactly what I wanted you to say. And it's a prestigious school. So, you know, the, the rules change. This is not VCU. Yeah. <laughs> this is not Virginia State. <laughs> say, this is Stansford. So Stansfield, I said Stansford. So I know y'all was gonna correct me in the oh, comments. Oh, they were gonna get you. Yeah, cause y'all know y'all the experts. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I still don't see how is it that once the detectives really start doing their work and it links back to Zeke some kind of way. I don't know if it is. How are you gonna protect him? I, Can we talk about Zeke real quick? Talk about it. Cause we already talking about it. <laughs> Can we get rid of this baby talk? Can we get rid of this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Zeke, I'm gonna need you to boss up. If you bucking a professor at the school, I'm gonna need you to carry your nuts like you bucking a professor at the school. Don't mean I don't know. Hey, my auntie Monet. <laughs> We're not doing this. Not today. Not on this good Sunday. <laughs> All right now. Not when I got a whole makeup job on because I got a whole lot of videos to film today. <laughs> not today. I ain't got, I'm not in the mood. All right. So y'all know uh, Drew is freaking is uh, in the hospital and Kane decides that he wants to pay a visit oh, up over there. And the first thing Drew told him, you need to get up out of here before Monet sees you. And so through all the conversation, the back and forth, uh, Ramirez's name came up. I can always can't pronounce his name. His name came up, but as we saw, freaking Drew found out that Kane killed him. And at that point, that was when Drew was like, "I'm done with you. You you cut off." And he was like, "Oh, so you so you kicking me out too?" Like Eddie Kane says, so "You kicking me out of the group too?" <laughs> yeah. So I but, but I, I feel so sorry for, for Kane. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Although yeah. Kane. See, we have a love-hate relationship with the character Kane because yeah. Kane is everything that he was created to be. Exactly. But now that he is that, they his family want to toss him away and they can't handle him Yeah. because some of the moves that he's making is not beneficial for the family. Yeah. And then that whole brotherly relationship and the way that that happened in there, that just hurt me so bad Yeah. because I'm like... If anything, Kane and Drew were like this. Like, yeah. they had each other. Yeah, so regardless and, of the bull skit, that Drew would still, you know, take Kane back and still, you not know. Not even take him back, but he always had that that middle ground. Be like, listen, yeah. get your skit together. This is what you need to do to get back in with mama so that she won't continue to push you aside. Do this, do that. But once Drew knew that he had he had offered Ramirez, he was like, you just as stupid. And, and was still... <laughs> Friends with um with Guap, we have a you know after he pointed the gun at Zeke's knee, so yeah, it was, it was just uh, so it's understandable, but it still hurts. Yeah, yeah, to see them um at odds now, and like Drew said, you said if we weren't with you, we were against you. So why are you here? Yeah, and Kate was pretty much like, dude, that's just what I be saying. saying yeah, that ain't, what, that ain't what I be meaning. Not when it come to you. Yeah, <laughs> but Drew was like, but that's what you said, and that's what you mean. So you need to go. Yeah, but uh, this was the freaking episode that we was freaking waiting for. It's time for Tariq to go to court. <laughs> so we saw at the beginning of the episode that we saw him um, running across campus looking just like Ghost. He did. Yeah, he looked just like Ghost and, and that, that guy doing tight suit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's time to go to court. So last week we was kind of discussing is Tariq going to rat himself out? Or is he going to freaking tell the tell the jury that he saw Sacks at the freaking truth that night? So they begin to go. The case begin to go on and going back, and then the Sacks doing this thing was like, "Hey, Tariq, um, that night was you at truth that night? Your father got shot. Yes, I was there. 
was your mom was Tasha there? Uh, no. Uh, so Sax keep on asking and asking. So Tariq was like, no, she wasn't there, but I saw you there with a gun. Like, oh, I, I was, was like, there. Oh, 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 I was there I, I, in I official was, capacity. Was, see, but no gun. He was, like, he was like, no, no. No. And so <laughs> this when you can see uh, Tamika's plan at work when he kept asking Tariq about Tasha being there. So Tariq turned around on him and said, how was you, how was you able to know what I said that I was going to be at my father's grave to be able to take the video of me saying the stuff that I said. How did it happen? Who drugged me? Who was working with you to drug me? And Tariq kept hitting it with that. And the judge was like, yeah, I want to know that. But you need to answer the question. Uh -huh. And then Tariq turned around again. Yeah, how did you know that? We need to know. We need to know. And you can see Steve Vaught is pissed off. Tamika's <laughs> like, yeah. Mm -hmm. gotcha. The clean is like, yeah, bro. Tasha's like, finally like, yeah, yeah, Tariq, go, go, go. So I love it. When a plan goes together perfectly, because I was like, how is Tamika really going to, was going to help him get out of that? Because I knew he could be like, yeah, I saw you at Truth um, that night with the gun, but the video, I thought the there? video was going to get him, but that twist of how were you able to get the video? So uh -huh. that's what stumped him. So it brought the conversation of, oh, so you did have him follow, yep. or you did have somebody drug him. So Tariq finally said... I can let you know everything you need to know, Your Honor, about who knew from the beginning of all this stuff, knew about the drugging, and McLean was like, oh, we need a recess. The judge said, and that I can agree to. Yeah. Let's go. So they went back in the chamber. Steve, I came in and kicked out the judge. I don't know what that was about. I don't know. I said, oh. Okay. Like I said, I don't know much about the judicial system in that regards that you got power to kick the judge out of the chamber. Pretty much he threatened that she was going to be yeah, in a position that she didn't want or in a yeah. same position somewhere else. So um, y'all saw it. To make a long story short, this is the plan is that Tasha is going to get off, but she has to get up on the stand and say that Tommy Egan was the one that killed God Don Ghost, and you got to give up everybody that was in the organization. And she was like, no, no, I ain't doing the uh -uh. deal. And Tariq then was like, this is the best you can do. If you don't do this, this shit is going to start all over again, and you're going to be tried again. So she was like, yes. And then Steve I said, you have officially unboxed yourself. <laughs> I was like, God, ain't it no one. But ain't it so funny, though, because... One of Tasha's codes was to not snitch. That your back got so up against the wall that you had to snitch on your brother. That's and we know from previous season how close Tommy and Tasha was. Yeah. So Tommy the, and Tasha were close when Ghost and Tommy were yeah, close. Exactly. When they it, were at odds, mm -hmm. those two remember when they were in the car smoking weed together? Yep. <laughs> talking about their problems, <laughs> trying to work things out. All behind goes back. <laughs> And like, now we were and um, now fast we're forward, here. We here where you're calling his name out in court. And ready to make him and take ready a to fall. Snit, and ready him to take a fall for something that you know he didn't, he didn't do. do to protect Tariq. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. What a mother wouldn't do for their son, right? Yeah. 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 So, of course, Brayden don't want Tariq because now that Tasha is out. Brayden is like, you know, what we going to do is, you know, we still, you know, doing course correct. You know, because finally, I'm good I something. found something that I'm good at. And I was like, look at these rich white kids. Wait, come on, man. That guy has everything, everything that they can ask for. And but they want to run around. And be bad guys. And you good at being a bad guy. And you wear that as a badge of honor. Well, we like, I don't want to be a bad guy. I want I want to make the paper, but I want to make it the right way. And you got an opportunity to do it the right way because you're privileged. But you still, but yeah. Yeah, but you yeah. want to trade places because it looks cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> I my prediction with that is I think that Tariq is going to turn that over to him. But then again, Tariq still does need to still push because you remember... He still owe two bit fifty thousand dollars. That's right, he does. Yeah, he still so that ain't going away. Yeah, why so, wasn't he in this episode? Yeah, so we hadn't seen him okay. in the last two episodes, right? Because he won last week, was he? I don't I remember. Don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. We're in COVID. All days look alike. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, it's tired. laughs> 
yeah, so I think, yeah, that Tariq is going to turn the game over to him. But we're we going we gonna to see how that's all. I don't know. Come. But I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think Braden is ready because his lips is too still too loose. He can't he keep is. he can't keep his mouth shut. So yeah, he does talk a lot. Yeah, he talks too much. We are in which we already freaking know that. Mm-hmm. So finally, Jabari, which all of us just can't stand this dude. This dude should have been gone. Matter of fact, we've been talking about oh, we don't understand how him and Professor Miriam even got apart in power this year because to me their parts really wasn't needed. No. They could have been on members only. Fans. Yeah. <laughs> only fans. Only fans. That's what it could have been. So he decides to confront Tariq, say, you know, uh, I know you're selling drugs on the campus. Uh, I, I know you know something about the murder at the pool. And of course, Tariq, one thing I can give him, he's still really, really good at keeping his poker face. It was like, I don't understand why you think I have anything to yeah. do with all this. <laughs> and he was like, listen, I know. I know all about Drew. I know that you're getting the money, for, uh, getting the drugs. From there. Yeah, I know yeah. about all, all of, it. of it. He said, but this is what I need you to do. <laughs> I need I said, I need you to help me write my next novel. I said, we back and at this dang old novel, novel again? again. And, and I'm going to give you some of my inheritance because I know you, you know, need advance. Advance, yeah, I said inheritance. Some of the money. Adv- the advanced money because um, I know you need the money. <sighs> I... <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I ain't saying that. You got more to say on that one because because we I mean, see how the end is gonna be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we see that the first, uh, at, the first line of business for Tasha that she out now is to go seek Monet because she wants to reek but out. She look good when yeah, she got out. Uh-huh, yeah. But still, what is up with the marshal? That U.S. marshal's agent. What is up with her? I think she wants some of Tasha. That's what I think. That's what I'm thinking too. Uh-huh. I didn't want to think that way because it's the stereotypical. Yeah, she um, want, yeah, I think she wants a piece of that chocolate. But I'm like, why is she so mean to Tasha mm-hmm. for no reason? For no reason. Nope. Uh, keep your eye on this chick. Yeah, so she comes over to the bar. And they over there boarding up the place. You know they got shot up. <laughs> so Drinking they- that Hennessy. I said, oh, she got that, she got that normal juice. So Tasha was like, you know, only thing I want from you is I want to read back, you know, because I'm trying to save my family from all this stuff. And Monet was like, well, you can't have him back because, <laughs> you know, because after all, he did find me. And so he yeah. did all this connect. So, you know, he might be your son, but I own him now. Yeah, and she was like, I reorganized my entire organization based, based off, of him. off of a plan that includes him. Yep. So, I understand what you're trying to say. Yeah. And but so, and so Tasha... I, I the, actually, name, the name stays home. Yeah. So, Tasha, I actually thought Tasha had her when she started giving her the information. Saying, I know that you in your husband's shadow and... And I was listening to my husband. He was lying to me and ended up getting my daughter killed. And so it yeah, seemed like that kind of yeah, yeah, shot. Yeah, shot. Yeah, so I said, well, maybe Monet going to be like, well, I understand because I almost lost my son. So you can have him back. She was like, no. Uh, no. He belonged to me. So by the time they get finished arguing, the place gets shot up again. So the first thing I thought was Rico's people. Is, is, is retaliating. And then when they picked out the window, and and she, and she was like, like oh, "God darn, Tommy's Mustang was feeding down the street." I said, "God darn, Tommy, Tommy is, Tommy is back. motherfucking back." It ain't take him long at all. No, what did he? He jumped on the first Spirit Airline flight out of there. No, <laughs> he was supposed to be in California. Yeah, California, New York. Yeah, that's oh. a long way. Oh, he was looking at that news press conference and he was like, Oh, you want to snitch? I'm coming for you. Spirit. $49.99. I'm on it. But but check this out. That how was he able to get back to New York and able to locate them that fast to be able to take the shots? Who he talking to? It's Tommy. <laughs> it's Tommy. We don't have to make sense of anything that happens with him. He just knows. Yeah. 
He just knows. <laughs> that was a little Tyler Perry right there. Like, how you? How did you get? How did Ty, Tyler get back? We didn't see him do no research. Mm -mm. Talk and, to nobody. And they're not supposed to know each other in the city. In the city, yeah. But so. you, but you knew to shoot up that bar. You knew Tosh was at that bar. Okay. Yeah. And you have no <laughs> connections left in the city, right? Now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a little Tyler Perry ish, but I'm just happy that Tommy is back. Yeah, with the bus stack. Exactly. After the shooting, Tasha, because you remember Tasha told Tariq at the court that I ain't snitching. We running. I was like, I said that's a that's, that's stupid. That's, no, it's not. No, because no, if no. you snitch, you're dead. So you have a better chance of just leaving and running. No, what I'm saying is living a life as a fugitive. Is. Better than D. I don't know what it's like, but I watch enough movies that that's that skit is stressful. <laughs> Having to always got to change your identity, got to change your hairstyle. It's so much to go along with that when you start when you running from the law. It's a, it's just a it's a lot. It's but a lot, yeah, period. But, yeah. <laughs> so she runs over there to um to the dorm like, hey, we got to go now. Get all this skit. We got to go because I saw Tommy. He is back. He, he is crazy. He tried to kill me. He is crazy. He a killer. And Tariq this said, is when Tariq stepped up was like, I'm a killer I'm a too. She said, he said, Mom, just, 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 <laughs> just let, let me, me handle it. Let me protect you. <laughs> Don't even worry. She said, no, we got to go. He said, no, give me a little bit of time. All I need is a little bit of time. She was like, did you hear what I said? Tommy is out here but look, in these streets. I felt the same way because I'm like, Tariq, you might be coming up in the game and you might you might got a little bit of fire up on you if you know, you know, you got but some you bodies up. Time. But a few bodies up on you, but you ain't on Tommy's level, though. That's why I was like, I was like, get the skit and go. Get the skit. <laughs> Say, I'll help you pack your bags, but you got to go. So, because I really thought at that moment he was going to bust up into college. Yeah. Because you know, Tommy don't give no bucks. No bucks. So then we saw that Tommy was at somebody's house because we didn't know it at the time, but Tariq walked over and was leaning up against the car. And I was like, Tariq, uh, you about to get killed, buddy. Uh, soon as Tommy come out of that house, that apartment, whatever, townhouse, you gone. You gone. <laughs> but. I'm glad they put that part in there because yeah. we got to see Cash again. Yeah. Yeah. So he couldn't to see. So Tommy. Tommy again, that family, that heart, that love he got. He Even though he was there to take out Tasha, he took the time to go and see <laughs> Cash. Yeah. <laughs> so I do appreciate How that. Ironic. So why? <laughs> so why as soon as he came down, down there, he saw Tariq, he said, I know I promise your father that I wasn't gonna kill you, but if you don't get your skinny A up off of my ride, I'm gonna beat your A right now. <laughs> I said he is freaking back. That's the time. Right. I said yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so uh, Tariq was like, "Mama told me that you came came after them," and he was like, "Yeah, I did come after them." And guess what? I'm not going to stop. He said, I got a hot one for her. Yeah, I got a hot one. I'm not going to stop until I get her. And that's <laughs> Tommy. He don't stop. Mm -mm. He mm -mm. don't stop. So Tariq had to end up freaking working out a deal with him. Um, but first he brought up Lakeisha. Yeah, that's right. He did. Because he yep. was going out like, listen, when is this going to stop? You know, my family and this, that. And he was like, hmm. So you don't have a family. Whose fault is that? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't have a family. Which reminds me yeah. of why I really, really need your Lakeisha. mama a hot one. <laughs> so that's where they started, you know, when Tariq came up with this plan. Yeah. But we never heard the plan. Exactly. We never heard it. And then we it. later started to see the plan unfold. unfold. And I was like, oh. was this a part of the plan? Yeah. And then I was like, I'll be there. So we got this useless scene, the sex scene with Saxon, that lawyer lady. I... We could have lived totally without that scene. I hope y'all agree. Yeah. That was useless. But the only bit of information that I can extrapolate from that, sorry to use big words, is the text he got from McLean letting him know that Tommy Egan was back and that he stole Kate's BMW. So at that point, Sax was like, oh, this is my ticket to get my job back so if I can go and nail Tommy Egan. I'll keep my job. i keep my job and I'll be straight. So... Then we see Tasha come out of the beauty supply store. I, That's just so typical yeah. of a black girl. 
<laughs> and she get back in the in the truck, and of course, who in there? Sax. So he was like, start this battle, we need to go. Because if we sit back and be talking, Tommy Egan is going to be on to us. We need to go. So, finally, after coercing, they talking all that skit, they pull off. And, of course, we see Tommy. In the BMW. In the BMW. And I said. And, mm. mm -hmm. and of course, in Sax F up way, you going to get up and look backwards out the car and Tommy song. But, but we know there's know. a plan in place. But I actually thought that I did think that blew, blew the plan. So at that point, that's when Tommy had turned off and the cops were chasing him. He went around his turn and ran into this building and the car blew up. And I was like, no. I said, Tommy no, did not go this, out this like that. Ain't no way you brought Tommy back into power and took him out in that lane where like, he run into a building with a car. And blow up. And blow up. Come on now. So Sax, he is over there. He trying to get he's to, trying to get car to the car. He because all he want, all he see is the win, and yeah. all he see is his job. And the agent was like, "You can't go over there." So now we have a burnt up Tommy in a car. And now I was like, "That's why he stole his mama's car." Yep. He mm -hmm. is all a plan. All the plan. It's all yep. a freaking plan. Yep. And Tommy is not in that car. Yep. He got out. He got out. Yeah, okay. So I, I say that's, that was a really, really, really good plan. Uh huh. Because it had been my feelings for like three seconds until I was like. But I knew in the Tommy fashion that that wasn't going to appease Tommy. No. Because no. that was just the route. After that unfolded, I said, oh, that was just the route to get Tasha off of having to rat on him. Because after all, he's dead. He's so dead, you can't so. testify, you know. Yeah, what good are we going to do? Yeah, because he's dead. All right, so we remember uh, Tariq had, before Tariq had went there with he, um, to do the meeting, he had sent a text to Jabari and said, hey, I need the money. So now Tariq is meeting up with Jabari to get the money. And so versus Jabari just giving the money and gone, he got some more questions. That's his problem. He got he too many got going questions, man. And Tariq was like, can we do this later? I got I to I gotta go talk to my man. mom. And... He was like, I got one question though. Um, who killed that 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 kid in the in the pool? Was that Drew Tahada? And by this time, Kane came from behind a tree and shot that Joker right on the spot. I said, God, don't. And first thing Kane was like, I knew it. I told Monet that you was a snitch. And I'm like, come on, Kane, you just you didn't hear him snitch. That was your boy calling out his name. Yeah. And then when Tariq, when he asked um Tariq about it, he was like, I don't even know no Drew. You know, so he ain't, I was like, he ain't snitch. You ain't him snitch. Mm -hmm. But we know Kane is so in his head. He's so jealous that Tariq then came in and, and took, took over his spot. his spot. So, but Tariq, once again, masterminded his way up out of that. Turned this way around. He was like, hey, look, Kane, if you kill me and the professor, that's going to mess up Zeke's pretty much plan. And Monet is going to know. Get that you family. did this. So this gonna let, so you ain't gonna never ever ever have get a back chance in the family. to get back in the family. But hey, look, you still got Ramirez gun right because Tariq told him, say, Yeah, I know you killed um, Ramirez and all that stuff. And he was like, How the hell you know about all that? <laughs> he said, See, <laughs> uh, yeah, see, see, the family telling you too much about I got no uh, business. This, yeah. So yeah, and so Tariq was like, Let's take Ramirez gun, shoot him because you got rid of uh, his body completely, right? He, he said, he said he gone just like R. He said, oh, he gone, gone like R. Kelly. R. Kelly gone. I said, really? Really, Woody? <laughs> that definitely was a you. <laughs> yeah, you did that. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> <laughs> so. The last thing he should have did was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so he was like, yeah, if you do that, we kill him with that gun, then maybe, you know, we can just, you know, chances Mike can get you to get back in the family. Mm -hmm. And he said, go and put yourself in a public, public setting, setting where you can yeah. be seen. I said. But he didn't do it. Hey. Yeah, so he went behind a tree because he didn't think Tariq was going to do it. And then when Tariq did it, I was like, well, you, you He was still. like, hmm. Yeah. So you can see that he's still intrigued by Tariq. Yeah. But at the same time, he's still so jealous, he can't see the forest for the trees. Yes. While he's in the forest. And um, let's go back to Sax. And this is this is where we get so pissed off about Sax. 
we saw McLean come to see Sax, but I thought McLean came to rub it in his face. I did too. But nah. He come ask Sax, what you, what's, what's the second act? What, what you doing next? He was like, you know, my cousin. I think he said his cousin or his uncle. His brother, I think. Brother, somebody got a hedge fund and they got a nerf room with paddings and balls. He want me to come down there. I'm going to work with the hedge fund manager. And he's like, McLean was like, what if I got something better? He was like, what you talking about? Won't you come work for me? I was like, I said, here we go. Two trifling together. I'm trying to figure out how is it that Sax always get to walk away. Tariq said in court that he seen him with a gun at the truth. And it's almost like, it's just like, okay. Did you really the, have to ask that question out loud? But we already know. We okay. already. I mean, okay. we we already know. But it sucks, though, man. Cause he should have been dead or should have been locked up a long, a long time, time ago. ago. So you're getting fired, and now you get to work with McLean. And the plan is brilliant because McLean was like, um, you know the ins and outs of this office, so we can pretty much clean house with them and make money more money than you can ever dream of. Which is true, cause I mean he worked there, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're at the grave because Tasha is out there waiting at um, Raina's grave, waiting on Tariq to come. So Tariq finally showed up and I said, here it is because I know Tommy was not gone. Yeah, because he had told yeah. Tariq, Tariq had given him a call because yeah. the plan was supposed to be over. Yeah. We all got what we wanted. Exactly. So Tommy had told him, he said, look, I'm on 95 right now. Get ready to hit the exit. You ain't never gonna, gonna see, see me, me no again. More. <laughs> All right, kid, it's over. It's done with. I said, no, it ain't. He's nah, sitting right, right in his there. car. Yep. <laughs> because he still got a hot one for Tasha. Like he yep. said, I'm not gonna stop until it's over. Yep. And when they say it's over, you, Tasha. <laughs> exactly. So Tariq comes up, and Tasha, like, where the hell you been? You know, I've been waiting out here. And he was like, I'm sorry, I had some stuff I need to handle. And of course, we saw Tommy coming up from behind the grave. I was like, here it is. He's going. He gonna take Tasha out with then his I, nice gun always. Yeah, uh huh. And then a goddamn car pulls up and was a goddamn feds. I said, because Tariq had called them and told them that there was another threat on, on his mama's on life. On his mama's life, and it boom, was brilliant. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. So he called to get his mama out of yes. another plan that mm -hmm. he knew was going left. Yep, and. She didn't, she wasn't down for it because she, but she wasn't taking yes. She was, I was like, yes, is permanently her grandma's child. <laughs> but you know how you but always she's see too that child. open though. I mean, okay. I mean, she's, yeah. But ain't yeah. nobody gonna mess with yes. I don't know. Well, Tommy might. We ain't think nobody, they, but Raina gonna get killed either. Raina. But she did put, she did put herself out there. I'll give her to say that. But hey, I mean, all ghost kids is crazy, so. Maybe yes, and Mike jump out there and want to get in the game. You ain't lying. Oh, but that's what might come in season t in our uh, season two. <laughs> yes, we want to get in the game. Mm. Nah, huh. I don't know. But uh, where was I? Oh, at the graveside. Oh yeah, and so they pulled up. So Tasha ended up. Tariq was like, I had to do what I had to do to protect you. And so the FBI agent was like, We got to go now. So, stayed up going, and of course, I knew Tom was going to grab Tariq and was like, you little slick joker. <laughs> <laughs> you did this get to me. But he said, you know, uh, I I'm still not going to stop. So, he pulled the gun out on Tariq, and, and old-fashioned, here come Monet. She pulled out the gun, and here come Tom and said, who in the hell is riding with you that got the balls to, to pull a strap out on, on me? me? He turns around, she said, <laughs> No balls. No balls. It's me, bitch. <laughs> as boss of a move as that, I won't scare. I won't scare. I won't scare. It still was funny as heck. Yeah, I won't I, I won't scare. So I'll... she had his gun and her gun. The top yep. was like, Oh, okay. This is how we doing now. Yep. I see the apple don't fall too far from the tree, huh? Yep. And they stand right over beside Ghost Grave. Ain't that a mess? But this is what really got me was when Tariq had looked at Tommy and he said, um, so Tommy said that Ghost wasn't wrong. He just had to do what he had to do in spite of even though people hated him for, for it. it. And I was thinking about that and I was like, what did he really mean by that? So I wonder if Tariq is being like, because... He had to do all this skit to get his mama off, and it pissed off a lot of people. Got some people killed. 
I mean, it was a whole bunch of scuff, and you and that same thing Ghost was was going through when he was trying to get out the game to save his family. I mean, it cost him his life, but I ain't touching that one. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. ain't touching it. You ain't touching it. Yep. What y'all think about that statement? What y'all think what he meant by that? And then, um, then uh, Tommy was like, "You just like Ghost. I mean, this what you doing when they cut? Cause when the car had pulled up." With, uh, with Drew and uh, Diane, he was like, this is just like Ghost. And then Tariq was like, well, maybe the next time I see you, I can't, we say, the next time I see, maybe the next time I see you, I'll be worthy of his name. Said, huh. And Tommy was like, you ain't never yeah. gonna see me again. I don't believe that. No. <laughs> I, I, I don't believe that. Uh-huh. But do y'all think Tariq is worthy of Ghost's name? No, nah, not yet. Oh, he got some more growing to do. He got a lot of growing to do. Cool. Can we call him Ghost Jr.? Oh, yeah, we can call him Ghost Jr. for okay. right now. Because he is coming up with some plans that is like, uh, okay, okay. So, all right. Yeah, but his moves are not as slick as Ghost. Like Ghost would just slide in somewhere like yeah. Superman mm -hmm. and come back out with a track suit and then yeah. come back out with a suit on <laughs> and go at Truth and have it. <laughs> uh, yeah, <it's laughs> and handshake with the best of them and just kill like three people. people. Yep, and you ain't know. And you don't even know. So yep. now nah, he's not at that level yet. But Power really, like this book right here has really had so many parallels. Yeah. Like I was telling you, I was like, when you look at the relationship that Braden and um, Tariq has, it reminds you of the Tommy and, and, and the Ghost. Mm -hmm. um, not as polished, not mm -hmm. as strategic. Yeah, exactly. And then I'm like, dang, then there's always somebody that reminds you of somebody else. So you have Monet, and then she has a parallel life to kind of what Tasha had in the shadows of these big husbands mm -hmm. that pretty much have called the shots that now you have to fall in line yeah. to continue your, you know, your income, your legacy, mm -hmm. your family, yep. your safety. I'm like, dang. Yep. <laughs> it's so many parallels with this that... And then, of course, you go have somebody sleeping with somebody that they shouldn't be sleeping with. Yep. But, yeah. And so, we got, I mean, we still got Monet still 100% dependent on Tariq. Because, um, <clears throat> I forgot to talk about, because she, moment she went and she met with Lorenzo. We got to talk about Lorenzo, because yeah, Lorenzo she was pissed. Met with, met with Lorenzo, and she kept telling Lorenzo, we need to find Ramirez. And he was like... I don't know why in the world you keep on being on him, but I hope it's about the business. And that's it. I said, you already know. <laughs> yeah, you already know that something going on with like this. She was like, I just need guns and protection. And he was like, And he can do that. Yeah, you need to go and get Kane back. Because we need an enforcer. <laughs> and I was like, true. And we need to get those corner boys back that he took. So, in other words, Lorenzo is like, we need to restore what we had. Because he said, you wide open. He yeah, said, you, you retaliated and killed off Rico. Yeah, you I killed can. off Rico when we wide open. Yep. We have no protection. And nope. then you got rid of Kane. Yep. So, what what do you want me to do? There's only so much I can do out here. Now, do you think that or she... Or in here. Now, do you think that she, when she went to talk to Kane, because she didn't do anything that y'all saw that, that he told her to do. Do you think that she's going to start relying on Tariq now? And the reason why I say that, because at the end, you remember she said, okay, all right, Tariq, let's the, go with the family. The family is waiting. The family is waiting. Like, okay, officially now you, you are in. in the family. And I was like, oh, hell. Yeah, but I didn't understand. Like, she went, well, because she knows that <laughs> that came off Ramirez at this point. But she went over there, and I was like, okay, so are you going to just tell Kane, listen, let's let's. Squash, Squash all this. I, I need know, you. Yeah. Because Kane is he is yearning for the opportunity to be back, back with in. his family. Yeah. He over there screwing old girl. <laughs> I'm like, if this ain't some hood book of skit right here, homeboys right out there uh -huh. playing pool. Yeah. Rolling <laughs> dice. They in there just get it. She just busts in there like, get up, go, go, die, go, get go. out. And he was like, Mom. And she was like, Did you? Did you? He was like, I off your bit. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, I did it. And he was like, you made mistakes too. Because she was like, why? how could you be so stupid? Yeah. I agree. How could you be so stupid to yeah. do that? Like, yeah. for real. Like, the only pe person that's between you and bars. What's you him? You off them. Yeah. I don't get it either. But he uh, told his mama, say, you don't made a whole lot of mistakes too. True. So he was like, why am I so different? Why am I excommunicated from the family? Because I don't made a few mistakes. Next thing I know, she didn't do nothing Lorenzo said. She left up out of there. I said, yep. well, I'll be darned. 
Yeah. So uh So now we got Kane just out there like a rabid dog, like Diana say. That I wonder if I wonder if Tariq really gonna try to help him get back in. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. I think like we, we said it before, I think him and Tariq will work together real well. Yeah, because they started off like that. Yeah, Once they saw, he was yeah. telling him, say, you better yeah. watch Uncle Frank. Yeah. And he was like, how you do stuff like this? Mm -hmm. Like, they would be way more powerful together. Yeah, they would. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Huh. Uh, when, whenever season two come on, we don't really know. I just thought about something. I just hope it don't take all the way to the end of the year. Are they trying to parallel Kane to Kanan? Possibly. To Ghost and, of course, Tariq. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Somebody, in yeah, <laughs> make me understand what are they doing with these books? Yeah, because when we first was introduced to the books, I thought that they were gonna go back and give us some character development. Yeah, and now it's like there's a continuation, continuation going, on going on. Yeah, so are they doing a continuation in a way that is giving us past character development? I, I, I don't know, know and yeah, I ain't gonna try we'll, to figure we'll it out. We'll keep watching, though. Because I got too much going on to be trying to research power. Yeah. <laughs> Straight from but, the VA. But y'all, appreciate y'all rocking with us on this season. And, and we'll happy see new year, y'all. And happy new year. And we'll see y'all back in season two. Straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla. Holla.